Welcome back to SnowRunner. You join us today in the Fleetstar F2070A as we make our way towards the factory. Now today we're looking at the final part of the mission not to drill. We need to go to the factory to pick up the construction rig semi-trailer and deliver it to the drilling site itself. Now we have been to the drilling site a few times with the previous deliveries but this is the final one that's needed. And this trailer we've also seen previously. Uh, we saw it when we first came here um, to the factory and yeah it's not the smallest trailer in the world but the only truck I think we have capable of pulling this is the Fleet Star and even then I'm not sure if it is good enough for this job but we're about to find that out for ourselves so we're now going to connect this up here we go and it is such a big trailer now I have some concerns I've got a journey in mind a route in mind that we're going to take so we're going to head out of the factory follow the main road down as much as possible there are going to going to be some muddy areas we'll have to be a bit careful of um, but I think we should be okay as long as we stick to the main road mainly with the odd little traversal over the mud we should be okay see another mud patch there we should be okay keep going on the main road all the way around go past the log station and the main road I think is the safest bet now we could take the first turning down but I don't think we want to we want to take the, the later one because I think that's an easier journey across. And also, my other concern is the bridge itself. I don't know if the semi-trailer will fit through the bridge. We won't know that until we're there. And if it doesn't, we've somehow got to reverse a very long way back. But that is our journey. That is the plan. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit worried. But we're going to do this as best as we can. So let's get going. And now the issue straight away with the camera positioning is... Um, yeah, the trailer's a little bit big. I don't know the best place to have the camera. Uh, <laughs> and turning corners, the camera moves. That's not helpful. But well, we're going to try our best here. Now, the Fleet Star has been our most dependable truck so far to date. And it is the one truck we use the majority of the time. And I've always said previously, I don't want to just rely on one truck. I want you know a, a fleet of trucks that we can use for all different things. But we don't have that ability yet. We are very close to rank 6. And once we achieve rank 6, we get the ability to have mud tyres on the Fleet Star and the other trucks we have as well, the Kodiak, the GMC. Now, the GMC itself is not a vehicle I enjoy using. I just find it really... It doesn't have the power. Um, and currently, with the tyres it's got, it can't do anything unless it's a road journey only. I'm still loath to sell it because I don't want to sell any truck. I kind of want to go through this whole thing with... The original trucks, each map will keep its trucks. Even if we store them at the garage and they're there. We move on to a new map. We're still thinking we'll take a scout vehicle and one truck to a new map. And once we find new ones on that new map, we'll send them back to where they came from and we'll use the new ones. I want to keep... I don't want to have a favourite truck, essentially. I want to use everything we can't find and everything we come across as much as possible. And that may sound a little bit difficult i don't know i don't know how easy that's going to be to do or how easy it's going to work but we're going to try our best now one of the first problems with this route that i didn't think about was this little bit here so it's very very tight and the fleet star is, is in the middle of the trailer and you can see the trailer width is quite wide but i think we made it through there okay actually that wasn't too bad i was expecting that to be a bit trickier that was okay it's the hilly sections i'm a little bit worried so far the fleet starts doing well though which is good to see. My other concern with the Fleet Star is although it's our best truck, and it's only because it has all-wheel drive as well as diff lock, I think they're the two things that make this truck stand out compared to the others. The Kodiak has diff lock but doesn't have all-wheel drive. So you are limited a little bit on power and how to get the power onto the ground. The GMC is just the GMC. But I will say, I think this job... I don't know. I don't know if the Fleet Star is powerful enough for this job you can see we're struggling on some of these hills although it is still moving so maybe I'm wrong maybe my concern isn't really needed but I did wonder whether we may be doing this a little bit too early um, and we need something better maybe I don't know okay another tough section coming up this is a little bit mud here so this will really test the fleet star and see its climbing ability yeah okay we're still moving, the fleet star is still going forward, which I'm amazed by, but you can you can see it's probably slightly under the what the actual um, capacity of the vehicle is. So I think if the fleet star was a little bit more powerful, 
better tyres, this wouldn't be anywhere near as bad as what it seems at the minute. We are going very slowly and this is top speed. <laughs> but then this was always the concern. The Fleet Star has been brilliant but there is going to be a limit we're going to reach of it where we go, okay, we've got a problem. And I do think a lot of that, that is down to tyres as well. The fact, as soon as we can change tyres, the better I think. Because everything we've done with the Fleet Star so far has been on road tyres. And it has, it has shone, it really has, but there is a limit we can push this thing to and I think we're reaching it. I've never seen the Fleet Star struggle like this and it is really struggling. Come on, up the hill. Up the hill. Keep going. So close. It's just so slow. Are we okay? I think we made it. I think we're okay. Uh, no, we're stuck. Have I, I think I've caught on something. It doesn't seem to want to go forward. I wonder if the trailer's caught maybe. Let's just try winching it and see if that helps us. Bit of quick winching. Haven't done that before. I sang with someone that um, Stu the Gamer in the comments told us about that quick winching. Um, ideal time to try it really. Doesn't seem to make a difference there though. Uh, okay, I can't. The problem I've got is I can't really see where we're stuck, which obviously is an issue. Uh, what do we do here? The trees to our left, but I don't really want to go too far left here. And we, do, I think we've moved back just too far, so we can't get the pole anymore, which isn't ideal. We're gonna have to try and do something here though. I didn't really want to go left, but I don't really have a choice. I just need to inch a little bit more forward. Pulling the fleet star off the floor here as well. That's the weight difference of the trailer to the fleet star itself. Just pulling it. I wasn't. I was hoping we'd got through the worst, and yeah, there's so many hills here that I didn't even think. So looking at that, we're either grounded out on the bottom of the trailer, or we're stuck on the side. So if we reverse a little bit, we might be able to get up here. Straight into low range, diff lock on, all wheel drive on as well. Come on, try more to the right this time to see if we can just keep going. Come on, edge it forward. There we're stuck again. Can we pull ourselves up? We can. Okay, so we needed to reverse back just to get it off the side. I think we'd either ground out or it's a side on the rocks. Either way, we're still going forward. Although front wheel's off the floor at the minute. <laughs> But this this is why the Fleet Star amazes me. It is it has done everything we've asked of it, and then some. And today, if any time, it is now proving its true worth to us so far. And I'm, I guarantee there are better vehicles out there. It's it's guaranteed there will be in time. But at the minute, the Fleet Star is the best thing I've seen so far. It really is. I do like the look of the Kodiak. We've used the Kodiak a couple of times previous episodes, and I've definitely think that Kodiak is going to come good for us in the end, especially with better tyres, I think it will do really well. But as I say, we're very close to this. If we deliver this today, we should hit rank 6, um, which will be enough for new tyres, and that will change everything for us. So hopefully get this delivered, and that's job done. Making good progress now, obviously we did get snagged up, but we're okay now. Just got to the other thing I've also not used to is turning, so something this large and this wide, I'm trying to pay attention to how close we are on the corners to different things, like the rocks and the sides. And again, we're getting caught up on the rocks here. It's I sometimes turn a little bit too early. We had this in a previous episode where I was in the Kodiak and I turned too, too late, in fact, I think that one was, and overshot and got myself stuck. With this, I tend, to, especially with the long trailers as well, I tend to turn too early. It's something I've found I've been doing. I don't mean to do it but I just seem to do it and turning too early you're making the turning circle really tight obviously a trailer on the back doesn't have that same uh, turning circle that the vehicle does and this is when you get stuck yeah um, I don't know how the best get out of this now I think we're stuck on the rocks I think I've took it no maybe not looking back there I don't think we're stuck on the rocks I think we're stuck on the rocks on the floor and the tyres on the trailer can't get over them. I think that's the issue. Because even going backwards, we're struggling to move. I think it's, a, it's the rocks on the floor, not the rocks on the side that I originally thought we're stuck on. I think we just need to try and get over this little hump kind of bit. Come on. A little bit. Come on. Just get them wheels over. We'll be okay. Nearly. 
It's so close. Come on. It's like rocking it backwards and forwards, if anything. But I, that, I don't think it's the sides that are catching. I think it is the floor. I do wonder if this job should be done later on, maybe, with a bigger vehicle. A higher vehicle. You know, if we've got the race right suspension on the Fleet Star, say, for instance, that would have raised everything up. We haven't currently got that. But we are moving slightly forward here. Ever so slightly, but we're too close to the sides. That's going to be its own issue, isn't it? Although, there is a gap. I think we're okay. Come on. There we go. Just rocked it forward enough to get it over them rocks. Okay. And these trailers that I've left dumped around, I need to kind of gather all these up and deliver them back and sell them to earn us some money more than anything else. There's no point in having them laying around like that to be honest and we're now caught up on that one <laughs> prime example that I should actually go and clear up these trailers so that's maybe a job in the future to just run around grab all these trailers get them cleaned up and get some money back from them I think that might be the way forward with them at some point but we'll get to that at some other time okay we're on the move again which is the main important thing let's go try to take this corner a bit wider just to allow for the turning circle now I think we definitely took the better. It's just remembering to take the turns wider at times. But we're getting stuck again. It's the, I think it's the height of this hill and the lack of power on the fleet starts now the issue. Yeah. Just can't, don't have the power to get up this hill. I wasn't even worried about this bit either. That's the strange thing. Some of these bits we're getting stuck on, I wasn't worried about. The bridge that's coming up, that's my concern. Because <laughs> if we're too wide, I don't know what we're going to do. I haven't got a plan B. Well, I have got a plan B, but it's a massive journey of reversing. I hope for the best. Um, yeah. Not looking forward to that. Okay. Let's keep going. Can we pull ourselves up here? Come on, that one. Might be able to pull ourselves forward enough. Again, I don't think it's the sides. I think the trailer's too low and it's getting caught as we go up these hills. And the only, I think, I'm guessing the only way to deal with that is to have a, a truck that's higher up off the ground. So, race suspension, bigger tyres, essentially. Because that would raise the back up as well. So, I think that's the issue there. Is I think there's a lack of power from the fleet star, but, but also it's too low to the ground. So, until we find the upgrade for race suspension, we're going to have this issue. But I'm hoping there's not too many more jobs like this for the time being until we get some more upgrades and things. Hopefully this is the biggest thing we'll have to do for a little while. But we're back on track, back moving again. And it was just a case of pulling ourselves forward, giving ourselves that extra bit of power essentially. Using the winch in conjunction did work really well. Okay. Now, this is the bit I'm concerned. It's the bridge. So I'm going to try and aim the fleet start in the middle. So it's straddling the double lines, do we fit? We do. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. I nearly thought it'd be really tight, but actually I think there's a bit of space on the sides. That was nowhere near as bad as I expected that to be. I've left another trailer there, which is not helpful either. Can we get around this? We're nowhere near the rocks, we're fine there. I think, I think we're okay. Wow, we sailed through that bridge. That was the bit I was worried about. Of all the other times we've struggled, that was the one I was worried about. But we made it perfectly. Okay. I can, I can start to breathe a little bit better now. That was my concern. <laughs> right. This next bit is all off-road. This isn't going to be the easiest bit. But it should be fairly simple. Because we've done this route a few times now. The Fleet Star's made it every time. Yes, we haven't had this weight on the back. But again, it's not that bad. Muddy-wise, it's not really that significant. So we should be fine. This bit's downhill anyway. Which will help. And then we, we just got to remember to turn early because if we go too far down, we then are going to get stuck, guaranteed. But when we see the tower, the watchtower on the right hand side, we need to turn before that and cut across the grass. That should avoid the big patch that's coming up. So we've got to get this right. Uh, there's the tower. Let's start heading off road. We don't want to do that corner as normal. So that's the corner I think we'd have problems with. Also, it's quite a bit of a slope. So I've got a feeling the trailer would probably get stuck as well, to be honest. So, off-road though, there's still that concern with the slope. No, I think we're okay. I think we're good. Starting to get a little bit concerned that we're going to get stuck on the slope again, but actually, not too bad. 
Again, lack of power, lack of grip coming into play a little bit, but we're still moving. And I've said this quite a, quite a few times now, as long as we're moving forward, we're okay. It's the minute you stop and you lose all momentum, and that's when you're in trouble. So, keep the, just keep moving. Even if, I don't care how slow it is, we've just got to keep moving. Diff lock is on as well, hence the slow speed. But that's, that's at least making sure every wheel is turning at the exact same speed as each other, and that will increase grip on the floor as well. So that's what we're doing. Now this hill could be a problem. There's a kind of a lip on the top of this that could catch on the trailer because of its low height. So this could be tricky. That's, that's okay for the minute. We're not quite over the hump though yet. And there's another turn here, which is also could potentially be an issue. Well, we're still moving. We're okay. I think we're okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is going this is going really well. I know we've had some issues, we've got stuck a few times, but yeah, this is going really well. Okay. Ground conditions are a bit tricky, hence the diff lock on all wheel drive on, but we're okay. Okay, so this turn here was the other one I was worried about. Again, it's uphill. There is a lip as we go up here. So again the trailer could get stuck. I think we're getting a bit caught up now as well. I'm worried about the bottom of the trailer. Can we get it up here? Come on. I can't really turn wider either. That's as wide as we can really turn there. And there we go. We're kind of getting ground out in the kind of the middle of the trailer there. You can just make it out on the floor on that left hand side of the trailer. Let's try going back and trying to go up at a different angle maybe. More to the right, hopefully. Because the bottom is it's because of the hill and that's quite a steep bit. We can't really go much more to the right here. Come on, winch. Pull us. I think we're going further forward. I think we're okay. We may have done it. The amount of times I'm going to hold my breath and hope for the best. Come on. Keep winching. Bun completely off the floor now, the front of the fleet stub, but I think we've done it. We have. We've pulled us. Have we? Ah, oh. Come on, we need to connect again. We're just about over that lip, I think. We're very, very close. Come on. Yeah, we're good. Golden. Right. That's not that's not my last concern. There is a bridge coming up here. Um, we've got to make sure we hit the bridge square. I think I don't want to be too close to the sides. And the trailer's going to probably hang over, but the fleet star needs to be in the middle. I think that's that's the thing we've got to aim for. Okay. Where are we stuck now? I think we're stuck. We're caught up on something. It's not being able to see behind you that easily that's making this a bit tricky because you're kind of guessing what's happening whenever you get stuck. I'm guessing the side is stuck or it's ground out. I think we're getting it right and what we need to do to to um, get, round, get round that and, uh, and get ourselves out of that situation at least. But it's still a guess a lot of the time just because we can't see enough. Come on. We're stuck again. Come on, keep pulling. We're so close. To, we're so close to the drill site. We literally got to cross that bridge. Are we good? I think we're okay. I think we are. Okay, perfect. Right, cross the bridge time. Just got to go down this slope. Come on, over the bridge, and then job done. Uh, no. It's tipping, it's tipping. I'm stuck as well. I think no. Yeah, we're stuck. I'm not. Ah, oh, yeah, that's not good. That is not good. I didn't even think this would be an issue. We've got a big, big problem on our hands. So this big problem that I was just talking about became an even bigger problem. So after about half an hour of backwards and forwards trying to see if we get ourselves out of this muddy situation we're in I thought I'm kind of stuck running out of fuel let's get rid of the trailer for a minute yeah I thought if we took the trailer off we'd free, free up the fleet star and it could then move my mistake in doing that was the fleet the fleet stars trailer at the time the construction rig was at a slight angle enough of an angle the minute that we released it it went on its side so this situation just got a lot worse. So 
So after making this a lot worse, I thought, okay, we're stuck. So what we're going to do is we're going to send the Scout 800 out and we're going to pick up two remaining upgrades around Black River. We've only got two remaining. So this is the first one. We're in the Fleet Star. This is quite close to where the location of it is. We're nearly there anyway, to be fair. And it's the one at the far left of the map, up, up the hill to the side of the main town. Now I'm hoping this is either a new engine for the Fleet Star, I think that would help massively, or um, race suspension. Anything other than something for the Fleet Star is not really helpful for the current job on, at hand. So that was my kind of hope as we made our way up this hill. This is going to be something good. But the actual climb up here wasn't too bad. As you can see, the Scout 800, we've seen it before in action. It does. It's a brilliant little vehicle does really well. I like the fact it can carry a decent amount of fuel on, it, on its top as well because that allows us to go out for quite a while. As you can see we're quite close to it now, up the final bit of hill and then we should be there and then we can see what this upgrade is. It's nearly there. Just a little bit more. Come on engine for the Fleet Star. It is an engine but not for the Fleet Star. That is an engine for the Chevrolet CK1500, which is our other scout vehicle. That wasn't quite what I wanted. So after that disappointment of achieving an upgrade I didn't want, there's still one remaining. So if we have a quick look here, it is two... where is it? Over here. There it is. And we got the Scout 800 not too far away. We're just about to leave the main road now to try and achieve this final upgrade in Black River. There is no more upgrades after this, that I'm, as, far, as far as I'm aware, that I've seen on the map. I think we've opened every tower on Black River now as well. So I don't think there's anything else to discover here. So again, we're hoping for something good. Um, Ray suspension for the Fleet Star would be good. I still think a new engine would be good. Um, Again, we just need to get to rank 6. I think that would help massively. And then I need to figure out how to turn this trailer over. So uh, we'll have a look at that in due course. But we just need to get across. Now, the only danger to this one, it did look like the water was quite deep leading up to this. So we've hit a marker. Can we make it across the water? How good is a Scout 800 at going forward? And it is still going. That Scout 800 always surprises me how good it actually is. And we have the upgrade. What is it? It is a new engine, but what is it compatible with? Come on. It is a Fleet Star. It can go in the Fleet Star. Okay. Well, next episode, we're looking to try and finish off the drilling site mission and hopefully upgrade the Fleet Star in the process. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again very soon.